Hello, it's Monday. It's Monday, June 20th, and I have a sore throat. Doesn't that suck? Anyway, but I have a week to get rid of it because in a week I go to jolly old England. And I'm so excited. Anyway, so I'm Tracy Weinsaff. Well, you're live. You're in my studio. I mean, I hope you're alive if you're watching this and you're not alive. We have a problem. Um, but yeah, I have a little bit of a sore throat. Go figure. And I don't feel that great, but the show must go on. And I can't, can, I can't, I'm not infectious from here to you, but I'm sorry if I, um, if you hear me like snorting or something disgusting. So anyway, um, I'm leaving in a week and I'm so thankful I got everything done like in the nick of time. Because you know, things have to be cut, but I'm teaching this class with Andy Skinner jointly. And then here is my big workshop project, which I'm so excited about because it's like, <laughs> it just fell apart. I didn't glue it down. <laughs> I forgot to glue that piece down. Okay, um, I will glue this piece down, but it's dimensional. That's an awesome demo. Look. Okay, I did sort of glue it down, but not all the way. Anyway, I best be gluing that down. And then I have another mini project with this cute little frame that I'm teaching. Anyway, you get the picture. So that's all done. Mary came over last week to stamp everything out. And God bless her, she took it home. So God bless her even more. She'll bring it back tomorrow. Take some, or take some medication, Mary, before you get here. I don't think it's allergies. I think I just, I think I just got a little sick. But that's what happens when I take a day off. I took like a couple days off this weekend. Everybody was gone. So my kids went to their dad's house. John hemmed and hawed about going to Sacramento. And after hemming and hawing uh, a ton of times, I, I said, just go. Just go be with your son for Father's Day. You're not my dad. I'll be fine. <laughs> scoot, scoot. And I had a weekend by myself. So I went to a movie. What did I do? Oh, Friday night I had a happy hour with the girls, which meant Saturday morning I wasn't feeling very happy. And then Saturday I went to dinner in a movie with a girlfriend after I went shopping and I picked up this cute little number that I'm wearing right now. And I got some clothes because, you know, being the season on a whole, I just wanted to look cute. Got some makeup. Got new shoes. Remember last week? Oh, God, I can't do that. I gotta remember. I'm not that limber anymore. I got new shoes. And Vicki is my inspiration for these shoes. It's very difficult to hold. So if you're not familiar, we had this talk last week about saddle shoes. I threw everything my husband said out the door and I bought them. So they are going to England with me. And let me tell you that, um, the origination of the shoe is an Oxford shoe, which came from England. So I'm just taking the shoes back to their home country. And I plan on having Andy Skinner pick me up wearing these bad boys so that he can spot me a mile away. But anyway, so I love my shoes. They absolutely, I went to cruise night last Thursday in Ramona. They have these old cars cruising. And somebody said, did you buy those shoes just for tonight? I'm like, no. I did not, but kind of hit me that I know I absolutely love my shoes. I love my shoes. I love my shoes. They're so totally adorable. I'll show you when I move the camera, but if I keep bending like that, I'm probably going to hurt myself. So if you didn't go to my blog today, the winners are Kelly Garfield, Terry Drew, Gail Montea, Carol Ganzi, uh, Marsha Holtman, Judy Thacker, Judy Everett, Kathy Spires, Heather Thompson, Sonia Holmes, who I'm personally delivering hers in England, and Debbie Fernandez. Go to my website. I also have a huge giveaway of a huge gift basket that's been sitting in my foyer that has to be shipped out from Beacons. So I'm going to um, I'm going to um, ship that to the winner. I promise that will not take as long as me awarding all those winners. I've just been really busy, and I'm a one-man band. You know how Martha Stewart has a company called Martha Stewart? She has lots of little Marthas. Well, I don't have a lot of little Tracys, but I'm very thankful that I have Mary who comes over and takes my stamping to go home. So please leave a comment. 
because I got to get rid of that gift basket out of my front foyer. It's been there for two months. Okay, I'm choking. So, um, what else do I have? Oh, I'm signing a contract on a book deal. No biggie. Oh, bite me. You lose me, I will look and hopefully we'll come back right away, which we did. Um, I'm signing a book deal. Uh, I've got the contract on my desk. I'm signing it in all of July. We'll be working on that in August. So uh, that's a little bit of news. I don't know. It's an idea book. An idea book. And um, I will make sure and keep track if, if I lose track. I know. So um, hit F5. Um, I'm sorry. We might be at the mercy of internet. Anyway, so I'm signing the book deal. It's a done deal. Hallelujah. Uh, hit F5. If you guys get lost, hit F5. Hit refresh or F5. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so um, I wanted to uh, let you know that that's happening. So July and August, I'm also uh, going to be teaching in Orange, California at the end of July. I'm going there for two classes. So if anybody's in Orange County, um, look me up. I will be there teaching two classes. Oh my God, hi Shelby. I just got the nicest gift, but it's in my bathroom from the girls at Simple Pleasures. It was very funny. I put it on my Facebook page. Um, yeah, if we lose connection or something, I'll just be paying attention and just get us back. And I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to get upset and anything. So we'll see. Um, it was pretty funny. And Mary was here when I was talking to somebody about the book deal. But um, they asked me, I get like so many copies of the book. And they said, will you be able to sell it? I'm like, oh, heck yeah, I'm going to be able to sell that. And if I can't, I'm just going to give uh, free copies to my entire family. So uh, to my family, when that book comes out, if I cannot sell them, you are all getting a free copy. <laughs> anyway, so I'm hoping that that's something that happens before CHA of next year. Um, I have to work on it and I have to put everything, I don't know, it's really long. You know, oh my goodness, hi Sonia. Sonia's a winner too, and her um her prize is in my I'm going to personally hand deliver her prize to England. I had a couple of UK winners, so I was like, I'll bring it with, I'll bring it with. <laughs> anyway, so I'm shipping one from there and I'm just gonna bring it with. And um I think that's really all I need to say other than um thank you for joining me and um Crap, all my tea people ran away. Okay. Anyway. Yes, thank you so much. You know what? I'm going to pop one of these bad boys. Mickey. No? Come here. All right, you want to come in? You can come in. I'm not going to do anything to you. Okay. I know. So anyway, these things taste like, can you make me a thing of Lipton tea and not too heavy? You can just bring the sugar with a spoon so that you don't, have, I know I need it. Thank you. I'm sick. Boy, you need it. Shower or something. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> these things taste horrible. But... I'm not going to forget my apron today because I don't want to get my shirt dirty. Um, anyway, I am going to work in my art journal because I am, look at how cute my shoes look with my apron. All right. I have three pages, four pages, three pages left to finish this thing. And it's been a big chapter of my life. So hi, you tell me. It has happened in a time in my life where I went through some change, transition, not good, not you know, not bad, not good. What am I saying? Could be worse. Um, so I kind of just want to um, finish it. I want to finish this chapter. <laughs> Jean, I know Andy Skinner said, 
He asked me if when um, I pick, if he picks, when he picks me up, he better pick me up. If, was, there, was there a tea bag in it? There's a tea bag right here. <laughs> All, right. All right, hold on. You could just take this back. You put the tea bag in oh, the sugar. Can't show my shirt. Why? I don't know where I live. I don't think it's a big deal, honey. I doubt you're going to get a lot of stalkers. All right. Thank you very much. Just that guy. Would you, would you well, go away? I'm looking pretty rough today. Okay, you are looking pretty rough today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here, you can take this too. All right. Do you want to stay here? All right. Talking to the dog now. All right, that would be my son. Anyway, so that's the reason why I just want to work on this book. So we're going to change cameras. Do, 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 do. Cool. Ooh. Well, we're going to make sure we stay focused in, and then we're going to turn that autofocus off. Oh, I forgot my ring today. Okay. All righty. All righty. I did a little sketch, you know, it's a really gorgeous drawing, I know, you're jealous. And I thought I would trace that onto here because I was just playing around. This was, I was on the phone with somebody. If you guys, uh, is it hot where you are? Hey, tell me it is so freaking hot, but I turned the air conditioner down. So my husband's going to come home for having been gone and think that I've just run in the air conditioner like we have solar. Oh, wait a minute. I am running the air conditioner like we have solar, because guess what? We have solar! Okay, it is boiling. So normally I do the background, and then I come in, but we're going to try something a little bit different. Do you want to go out? You're driving me insane. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Thank you. I, I can't keep playing the door game. I don't like the door game. All right. Actually, I'm debating. I'm debating. I know. <laughs> he drives me insane. I love having solar. So I drew this while I was on the phone with somebody, and I thought, oh, gee, that is tonight's little thing. And then I was going to put these little typewritten, um, oh, Sonia says I'm going to freeze. I probably am. It's a, it was 111 here. It was freaking horrible. Um, I wasn't really going to center this. In fact, I think I'm going to... <laughs> That's what I would do. All right. This is what happens when you're on the phone with me. Don't ever make a phone call and think I'm actually listening to you because it really doesn't work that way. Um, I typically am not listening to you. All right. Yeah, I was, it was smoldering hot today, but I didn't go outside, so it didn't matter. <laughs> I was working inside all freaking day. All right. So normally I do my background and stuff, but I'm not going to do my background now. I'm going to do backwards. How about that? How about that for screwing things up? Okay, what would be the upside of me doing it right now? What is my blog address? Super simple. <laughs> TracyWinesApplestudios.com slash blog. Somebody will type that out for you. It's really not that simple. All right. So I'm going to make this go on an angle. That's why I did that. That's why I did that. Um, but I'm debating my background. Hold on. Hold on. See, uh, the premise behind this show is one of how I operate my life. Little practice, no preparation, and uh, paint by the seat of my pants. So that's kind of what we're going to do right now. All right, and I do want a background. Screw it. <laughs> I love that I, I love that I just can't get there today. No, I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. All right, here we go. So this is just a piece of transfer paper that I'm, I'm going to kind of use my drawing. It's funny. So this was my preparation today. What am I saying? I did do preparation. Jeez. I'm giving myself such a hard time, but this is complete prep right here. This right here is a, an entire phone call. 
I don't think I heard a word the person was saying, but I scheduled a class. All right. And So the cool thing is, I'm just going to do this, and oops, I meant to do that, but all right, well, you get the idea. That's my flow. It's not exactly what I wanted, but you kind of get the gist, right? All right. Um, and actually, that looks that looks kind of phallic. <laughs> Why don't we finish this? <laughs> That looks very disgusting for a minute there. All right, so there's a pencil. All right, go in there. There we go. All right. So this is an 11 by something. 11 by, um, we're working on 11 by, no, 9 by 12 surface here. And I probably could afford to go just a hair closer for you, uh, which I will do with the magic of that. And... All right. Now see, I do have some bad marks, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some gesso and do my background first. Because I gotta get rid of my boo-boos. Yeah. Oh, gesso, how I love you. And you know what? Let's give it some texture. This would be boring with no texture, wouldn't it? Now that we know where our design is going. Cool. Goody. Kind of made me excited here. Just get rid of all that bad stuff. All right. So I'm just gessoing around this. I got a little bit of pencil and a little bit of boo-boo. And... Anyway, so the whole premise is to use what you have. So if you don't have the colors I have, I would like you to get in the car, run out, go buy them so that I can sustain my job, my show. No. I would like you to go into your cabinet, pick out the colors you have, pick out the paints you have, pick out the sprays you have, pick out stuff that you have, and... You don't have to use my exact design here. I mean, I know that looks like an incredible thing. Um, oh, Sonia wants to know if you're all in the USA. I you know we've got several Australians because it's a good time frame. But Sonia, not everybody's up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Is that what time it is for you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you crazy bird, you. And... A lot of times I do my background first, so this I never do. So we're going to just try something. We're going to try this. And if it doesn't work out, well, well, we all tried it together, and we can blame you. But I do think I want some texture of some nature around this, because it's going to kind of bug me not to. And what about some modeling paste? Yeah, modeling paste I can get to dry. Somebody gave uh, somebody gave me this at the decorative painting show. I need to get a whole bunch of these bad boys. I love that. I love, love, love with that stencil. All right, so I said we we're going to do texture. We're going to do texture. You guys, my suitcase to go next week is going to be a hilarious mess. Just, just thought I'd tell you that. Just thought I'd warn you. All right. Alrighty. Um, I'm looking for things that are right in front of me, which is funny. This is modeling paste, which I'm going to just, I love this stencil. Don't tell anybody I said that, but I really do. 
and it's new coming out in 10th of whenever. I don't know when, but I'll let you, you guys will be the first to know. I know, I know, I know. I know I say that every single time. Um, and I will show this up close. I'm impressed with all the preparation I did today. Um, as you notice, I had that complete thing drawn out. Which is a lot more than I normally do. Yay, that is a cool stencil. Oh my god. Now this is what happens when I really like something. I just go crazy and haywire and I don't need to be doing that, but it's going to happen. So I went from no texture to an abundance of texture. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, come back. Stream. Okay. Oh. Temporary lost. I'm temporary lost, but I'm back. I'm back. I can see it. I can see it. Okay. I'm learning to just stay calm and go roll with the punches. I know. I know. This is a deco art stencil. It's made by Annie Skinner and it's brand new for this year but has not released yet. So I know this. It's probably not the best demo, but I know. All right. So can you see? Can you see what I did? There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to watch. I'm sorry if I sometimes lose connection. I just come right back because now I figured out what the problem is. And that just, if we lose something, we just, that's it. We just don't panic. I know. Clean, clean, clean. Now I have to dry that. And the good thing is, you can kind of, I noticed I, I, I don't, I do not, I do not care about my stenciling, except for what I'm doing right now, but I do like to go, sometimes I'll have little lines or little something or little imperfections, so it's, it's very forgiving. See, I can go in and then I can just get rid of what I don't want. And that's just kind of the way it works. Just a cool... This is so not what I planned, even though I said I didn't have anything planned. So technically, I don't know. What... Oh, De uh, Debbie, I am going to announce that tomorrow. It's called, uh, hold on, Scrap Fever in Orange, California. I just printed up the information. I'm doing two classes in one day and I'm, I'm just coming home so um if are you anywhere near there i'd love to have you we are going to do two really fun projects this is an andy skinner um stencil for those who asked it's a deco art it'll be out sometime this year yes i love that stencil and hopefully you can see what i did Yes, it is. It is brand new. So normally you guys see me do my background. And this time I did this a little differently. But I do need to make sure this is dry. Yes, I'll be there July 30th, I think. It's a Saturday. Oh, that would be lovely. Yes, I've got all my stuff ready to go. It's so great. They asked me at a great time because it's actually like one little break I have in my schedule. So I'm going to go do it. And I can drive there.
Now, as you noticed, I'm adding that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be sticking my fingers all in it, but that's what I do. I like that stencil too. And do you see the way I used it? I just imperfectly went around, but it's it's just enough. Just enough for me. Alrighty. I have had that crazy dry. Oh really, that's awesome. Yes. They have a brand new classroom she invited me to, which is really exciting because I really don't like to have people cramped in. So when she explained to me this the arrangements, I am thrilled. I am very excited to be going. All right. And I'm going to do two different classes. And then I'm going to drive my keister home. And usually what happens is I'm so jacked up after those. Okay, so I'm just throwing some tinting base. And I'm going to throw some, I like to, I like to have a little bit of matte medium on my, is there a weird echo? I hope not. I don't hear anything, but then again, oh, I could mute my thing if that makes a difference. Does anybody have a weird echo? No. I have, there we go. I just muted that just in case that helps. Okay. So I put some matte medium and some tinting base down on a, Hope nobody else has a weird echo. Not that I hope that Donna P is the only one who has it, but this way it's not unearned. Um, all right. And I'm debating backgrounds. Oh, good. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I'm going to use a little, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to dare to pick out colors I don't normally use. I say that, but I probably gotta pick out the exact same colors I use every single flipping time. But no. <laughs> All right. That's pretty dry. All righty. These are some colors I don't use a ton, but I no, I don't really like this color. Let's go. Um, let's go. That one. I'm looking for one. There it is, phalo turquoise. All right. <sighs> this is blue green light phalo turquoise, which I might wash that down a little bit. I'm going to try a little bit of yellow in here too. And then we're going to hope and pray nothing goes bad. All right. I'm mixing some tinting base in this. I'm going to, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Don't you love it when I just, in like the mad crazy, let's just go for it. Oh yeah, that's some bright yellow. That's handy yellow medium. And let's just maybe tint that down a little bit so we don't need sunglasses to look at the artwork. Okay. Oh yeah. This is taking a direction I do not know. See how I am. <laughs> but what the hell? So I'm mixing a little tinting base in here. I'm mixing a little bit of matte medium in here, and I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just I'm not going to worry about coloring in the lines. Life is too damn short for that. Uh, these are colors I do not normally use, just FYI. I don't know if you can tell that, but I don't. All right. I'm going to take a bead. 
baby wipe. And I'm going to blend this in so loverly. What is going on in the kitchen? Seems like Betty Crocker has come. So this is just a baby wipe that I'm blending. Matte medium on this, I'm just helping the flow of the paint because um, I didn't really gesso this whole thing. So I'm just adding some matte medium in there. The cool thing about that is it also seals it while I'm working on it. So, um, and it just extends the flow of the paint a little bit for me and I like, I like that. So. Mm -hmm. It's kind of pastel-y. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've never really done this project, so oh, yeah, Betty Crocker is adding freaking 10 pounds to my waistline. I do not need any more help. That and Jack Daniels. I'm kidding. I don't Jack Daniels. I don't drink Jack, Jack, Jack Daniels, but that was funny. <laughs> I don't drink Jack Daniels. I tried to think of a funny. I was going to say skinny girl, but that's supposed to be the opposite. I um, will share something. I lost a friend of mine a year ago to cancer, and it was a less than a week type thing. And my girlfriends and I got together on Friday night, and you know, to just be together. We we're very tight. We we're very tight. And uh, it ended up being margarita night with a few shots. Anyway, so I did not feel that loverly <laughs> the next day. Um, I decided I, I put that there, but I really don't want that there. I'm going to put this right there because I'm going to kind of make a wash out of that. When I say make a wash, it means add some water, really. Yeah, so I don't recommend that, but anyway, it really did feel good to be with my girlfriends, but the next morning those lemonade margaritas were, um, yeah. <laughs> not a good idea. I was not pleased with myself. <laughs> but I didn't have any kids and family and life to all oh, right so now what I'm doing is this is um, phyllo turquoise and I just put a lot of water into that and I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna basically wash that right over the top so a little bit of water over the top of that and you see all that texture I don't know what that kid is making in there but you do like these colors. Okay. Okay, good. Because I'm, I'm scaring myself. Anyway. This water bottle is quite cranky. Every once in a while you need one of those nights. But let me just tell you, it should be every once in a while. And if you're with your girlfriend, but if, never again if somebody says, let's toast again. No, that's not a good idea. I think one toast is sufficient. If and, if and when my time comes... No, you know what? Take that back. I want I want everybody to toast madly. <laughs> and I want y'all to wake up feeling horrible. <laughs> yeah, I take that back. Just go ahead. Cheers the crap out of it and love every minute. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much me. Um, God. Well, needless to say, the next day when I went to dinner with my other girlfriend, I just wanted water. <laughs> So you see how I'm just really wetting this down? Don't be afraid to wet your paints down. Use your fingers, use your toes. Oh yeah, all right, kind of happy with that. Kind of happy with that madness. So this is so funny, the other day, so this is weathered wood, right, you lose that last week, so it was sitting out. This is brush cleaner. This was sitting out. 
So the other day I went to go wipe my desk down and I usually do this and I, you know, and I do that. I did it with weathered wood. Let me tell you, not the same cleaning effect and was really not happy with my lack of reading the bottle. Okay. Uh-oh, Olivia's still sketching. What do you got going there, sister? She's really going for it today. Yeah, so I layered my desk in weathered wood and my hands. <laughs> That's what I did today. And I now don't like the same, the bottles in the same size. All right. There's more to come on that. I just don't know yet, but I think that flower needs something. And I think that flower, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be like cadmium, either quin red or cadmium red hue. I think quin red. So I was going to go pyro red, but I don't think I have the balls for that. So and the middle of that flower is going to be that. So I know that. Dad, are you making fun of me when I clean out the table? That is not very nice. Come on. You're ready. Yeah. I got all these new brushes to use, and I kind of keep digging in for the same crappy ones. And then look at this, look at this thing. Hello, I think that's, that needs to be fun out. That needs to be. I, I use my stuff for demo, so they just sit in water and I get yelled at. You should have seen the decorative hangers. I gave them a flipping heart attack. It was as if, oh, I forgot I didn't just saw this, so, oh yeah, they were just, they were dying. My abuse for my paintbrushes. Oh, a nice paintbrush there. Every time my paintbrush went water, it was almost as if 52 people. I don't know if you guys saw my slideshow from the Decorative Painters, which is where I met Vicki. Lovely, lovely lady. Um, I would lay my, because I would just go from project to project and demo and different paintbrushes, and I'm just in the flow, and it's like their eyes all light up when I left the paintbrush in the water. It's kind of funny. After a while, it became like a thing that I just do because I like to see them I think I'm crazy. But it was great. So I'm just coloring this in, and I'm just not even thinking about it. Just let it go. Okay, that was my drawing. Give her a twist. Give it a... Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Need something. All right. I'm going to do like a really bright green on this one. I have to be better than this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or are you leaving for your game? Oh yeah, that's for Wednesday. I think it's just us going. And I already talked to Karen and I'm gonna call her tomorrow. Um, and we're gonna chit chat. About it all? Yeah, about everything. About life, liberty, and the pursuit of your happiness. And because if you're happy, Nick, I'm happy. Hmm. Um. 
Tess. And then Tess is going to talk about this. Okay. Is there anything else to your social calendar yeah, I gonna, need to know? Because yeah. right now, you're, I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a very busy person, and there are I 3 million tell, people. But I'm going to send you a video if I get kind of Please tell me you're time. dressed. You got clothes on, right? No, it's not of me. Okay. It's of this guy, and I want you to watch it. Okay. Well, I'll send it whenever. Do you think you're going to play in this game tonight? Probably not. Or, I mean, actually, I might have a chance. All right. I'll just look it up on your phone. And okay, yeah, I don't know about you, but I'm a little busy. <gasps> Would you like to say hello to my daughter here? You saw one of them. See my new, my new high school jersey? You smell good. You're going to basketball or a date? It's my new deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy's You smell like a dude. <laughs> it's guy's deodorant. <laughs> it's okay. All right. All right. Um... Oh, Grandma says hi. Oh, thank you. Okay. Wait, why is she saying me too? Oh, wow. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> and right over there, is it? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. This is, uh, you know, I'm really busy right now. Look, Mickey looks great. I think I look great. Mick looks great. That's the keyword Mick. Wow. What's Betty Crocker doing out there? <laughs> What's your brother doing? Oh, I look like a lady. Ew. Dude looks like a lady. I like how grass is blue. Okay. L O L. Are you, are you done? Huh? I haven't made it yet, but. Oh yeah, we yeah. She's just practicing with him. We'll see. Well, you know, Mick, it's been a pleasure, but I actually have to go. Okay. All right. Good luck on your game. Okay. Let me know how it goes. I love you. All right. No, she's not that ugly. Kidding. She's still sweet. I was saying that to my girlfriend today. I got so lucky because she's still sweet. Because at that age, I was kind of atrocious to my mother. Right, Mom? I don't think my mom remembers. All right. You can come in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Everybody just lay down. Oh, do you guys want to see my shoes? See, ready? Aren't they adorable? Okay. Oh, hi, Riley. Say hi. Come here. Come. Okay, sit. No, you got to come this way. There you go. Say hi. Shake. Okay. All right. We'll go back here. All right, that's that's my dog family. They drive me insane. <laughs> they are not golf shoes. <laughs> How do I get you people to know that they are not golf shoes? All right. With that. So now I'm going to come in with this aquarellable pencil. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to draw. And I'm going to draw. And I'm going to come in. I know, Riley, he's coming home. You need a desperate exercise. It's too hot to take them out. I melt. So this is an aquarellable pencil. I'm going to add these back on my website just for those who keep asking. They are not bowling shoes. They are the cutest shoes in the whole wide world. I know you're, I know, I know. It's so funny because uh, I will tell you this, this story. I think I told you last week, but I, about a week and a half or two weeks ago, I was looking at something and I said to my husband, I'm going to order these shoes. And he said, those are bowling shoes. Well, then I walk in and I see Vicky wearing them at the decorative painter show. And it was like destiny. First off, I think she's a lovely lady. She's still here if she's not. And they just make me happy. I have a thing about footwear. If it makes me happy, because I could care less about trends and stuff. Oh, and I also got some other really nice, beautiful heels. But anyway, I just have this thing. I remember one time I walked in and I bought a pair of boots and... They are the most amazing pair of boots in the whole wide world. But anyway, I absolutely 
I know because I wasn't forced to wear them, the one thing I'm hearing from everybody is, oh my God, when I had to clean them and keep the whites clean. Well, guess what? I don't have to clean them. I'm not going to a Catholic school. So it's an utter pleasure. So this is a liner brush. And I just did the Aquarella bowl, which I kind of did that backwards. But this whole painting seems to be going backwards. So we're just going to keep it rolling. Um, so I just, I would do this first, but eh, what the hell. You know, I don't get paid the big bucks to do it all the way, the same way the whole time. Anyway. So I'm just like that kind of person who likes wacky shoes. Oh, and if you guys have not seen the movie Me Before You, um, it is a great, first off, it's a great book. And second off, it's a really great movie. The girl, how she dresses in there is how I would dress every single day of my life if it was socially acceptable and I had the funds to do it. Uh, I'm a pretty simple girl, actually, the way I dress. I really am not a fashion plate by any means. And I, I'm all about comfort. And I get paint on everything I own. So it kind of, I don't know. But I would dress like the girl in the movie. She was absolutely adorable, for one thing. And she wore the cutest clothes I've ever seen in my entire life. And they were all mismatchy, and I loved them. So if I were going to redo my fashion life, I would definitely think about doing that. Anyway, yeah, that is the truth. Surround yourself with joy. And I Nordstrom's rack receipt. <laughs> they are, actually, these are so comfortable. I mean, I'm not sure they're doing any numbers for my husband in the bedroom, but, well, you know what? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that liner brush is dry. But I'm going to activate that aquarellable pencil by... Oh, I'm all about comfort. Most times, I actually wear bands in every single color imaginable. I really wear tons of bands. That's really my, but, so now I'm going to spray some water. Oh, I'm so lucky. I have like just an average Joe size foot and I actually have a pretty small foot for my size. So I get pretty lucky. A little bit too wet, Mamacita. which is kind of cool. You know what? Screw that. I'm just going to do what I do all the time. Stick my finger into it. So all I'm doing is wetting my finger, which I know doesn't sound good, but there we go. Here we go. Donna, were you the one? Oh my goodness, she figured out I can see and hear you. Donna, were you the one who sent me a message via Facebook? So this Aquarellable pencil, if you do too much smearing or whatever, you can um, bring it back with a baby wipe and then you just set it with a fixative. So that's, if you see me doing that, it's just because I'm, I figured out I've got too much crap oil on it. I don't like it too much. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. She said, keep my fingers crossed, and I kept them crossed the entire time. It was getting hard to paint like that. So thank you for letting me know you're here because I can uncross my fingers. It was just getting crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I just do that. I just do that. Wipe it away. Wipe it away. Oh, tonight is tonight the summer solstice. It is, right? Today's the first day of summer, summer. Yeah. Oh, hold on. My paintbrush just got a bunch of paint on it. Oh, good. Good. I can uncross these because I am telling you, it was so difficult to paint with my fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and I just met the most lovely people at STP, and I saw so many um, MMM peeps that it's so cool. There are so many um, lurkers out there who don't log in or don't chat and, and just watch it or watch the reruns. So, I mean, that's just the same thing for me. So I was just like, that is so freaking cool, you know? You guys, I feel pretty proud that I used a different color even than that. I kind of see since I blended it, it kind of looks like teal again. But anyway, you get the idea. I, I intended to use different colors. I really like this. All right. Cool, you're right. This. Well, today is definitely the first freaking day of summer in San Diego. It's a thousand degrees. It's ridiculous. You see, I can just blend in carry that the way I want it to be. All right. So even though I did this backwards, okay, summer solstice is always on the 21st. So why is it today on the 20th? Heather, um, I don't, I don't know the answer to that either. I know Marsha is out probably like photographing the moon right now. So she's probably able to tell us something. I love it that my iWatch says almost there. Keep moving for over a minute and stand up. I am standing up. If I stand up any taller, I'm going to be jumping through the ceiling. Okay, so this was a flower. After all, I was tracing over something and I just kept... You guys doodle when you're on the phone. I doodle so crazy. I just look at pictures and I start drawing. I will look, I'll look up flowers and stuff, and then I'll, I'll just try and doodle them. So this time I decided it would be fun to actually do something with it. This, this is a slip. Now the cool thing is, is I had all that medium and stuff, so um, I'm able to kind of go through things. All right, cool. I even... <laughs> My watch doesn't tell me what time. It tells me to do everything. It tells me to... What time to eat lunch? Crazy. How much water I drank. So if you guys are feverishly trying to paint along with me and you don't know what I'm doing, I'm sorry. I do put everything on my website the next day. I promise you. Okay. Okay. And then I need white. White. Heather, is it your birthday? I looked up and everybody's going, happy birthday, Heather. So I'm assuming it's Heather's birthday. <laughs> Heather, I got you a Spellbinders gift. <laughs> okay, go. Go. I got you a gift from Spellbinders. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Heather, please embrace every milestone. I am in love. Of course, I say that and if I reach, when I reach 50, I'm going to run with the wind, but... All right. So this is just white. A little white just spruces it up. Oops. Not that much. Oh, right. <laughs> Aw. Oh, I'm so glad I got you that gift in time, too. <laughs> I was really... So a little bit of white. You're hitting the big 4-0. That is it. Oh, my God. That is an Oh, please. It, you're going to love the 40s. I love the 40s. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream that out. You're hitting the big 4-0. <laughs> that was atrocious. Sorry. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. I love, oh, my God. I love 40. I love 40. I love reaching 40. 
It was so great. In fact, when I was 39, my girlfriend and I would talk about this. When I was 39, people were asking how old I was, how old I was going to be. Or like they would ask how old and I would say 40. I don't know why. My girlfriend said that. She thought that was so bizarre. Okay. All right. kind of love this. I don't know why, but it's just there and it's good. All right. I need a little, I thought I didn't, but I kind of do. I'm going to take a little Prussian blue on a dry hog's hair, like cheapy brush. Oh, that's a little too much. Oh my goodness. I love, love, love the 40s. I love the 40s. I did not like turning 30, but I loved turning 40. And I'm I'm on the downswing of it now, so. I'm coasting downhill. More like a wild race to the finish, but. Okay. Oh my God. You guys, you ought to see Vicki. She's a little spitfire. And I don't know how old she is, but it, I think she told me and I went, oh, yeah. Oh, she's exactly, oh, she finally, maybe she doesn't want me <laughs> relinquishing every one of her secrets. She's exactly 20 years older than me. So, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure she's never going to tune in after this again. But anyway, she was. Cool. You know, I just keep adding to this. I just can't, I got to stop. I got to stop, but I don't want to. All right, I really, I don't know, there's something about this. I was going to put a bunch of typewritten words all over this, but because that was originally, I was going to get my typewriter out. You know, I have an antique typewriter that I figured went with my antique shoes. But I kind of don't think I want to. I think I just want to leave it. <laughs> so we worked backwards today, and I proved I could do it. <laughs> Sorry, Vicki, if I gave up. Oh, it's so funny. I met one of my best friends on 9-11. Like we had, we re-met up after not seeing each other after a really long time. And we re-met up on 9-11. So weirdly enough, we were at Denny or getting a lunch, having lunch. And um, at Denny's or something, like just an oddball meetup. Hey, let's just meet here. And we went to Denny's and we were there when everything was happening. It was just bizarre. Anyway. Yeah, I don't think I want to put any words. And it's 7 o'clock. What the heck? I'm like done early. What the heck? The heck, heck. I don't know why, 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 why. So this takes a good, I kind of need a good fixative on this bad boy. Because of, you know, I'm feeling so much better. You know what? When I paint, I don't care what it is. It's like when I paint and I have a good night painting. I don't care if I have the plague. I get this high. It's, it's like endorphins are running through my body. And it's hard for me to go to bed on Monday nights because I feel like I just have this, you know, like, wild rage of... Oh, that was my 21st birthday, Angie. Oh, I, I, I don't know. It's done. This just... I don't know what to tell you, but... I hate to finish prematurely <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> this is, um, but I guess I could do a little Q&A with you. <laughs> so I will seal this, of course. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. I was in the zone. I'm actually dressed and I can go get, um, I could go get my own orange juice at this point. Oh, thank you, Hitomi. You guys, thank you so much. I, I really, um, I would like to thank uh, the moderators, my parents for giving birth to me, that honeymoon they went on. I'd like to thank all of my friends who have been me, with me. I will seal it outside. I can't breathe to seal it inside. Um, so I can't wait to see, uh, poor, poor Olivia is probably still, uh, <laughs> Olivia is still drawing hers. Um, uh, you know what? It's crazy. 
It's crazy that I like the process of this so much. <laughs> and I'm humble too. I think I can't see you. Yes. Okay. Um yeah. Oh that was it, man. I hardly even messed up paintbrushes this time. So this will be on my blog, I think, like tomorrow. Thank you. How do I seal it? Great question. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose, and the only thing I have is a baby wipe, so hold on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right, good question. This is what I typically do. I go outside in a well-ventilated area, and I use a spray sealer. The reason I use a spray sealer is um, because uh, when I use a pen or the Aquarellable, if you, um, you can use a brush on varnish, but you got to work quickly and make sure to not overwork it because you'll swipe everything off. So I use the brush on, the brush varnish, mm. sorry, the spray varnish, and then I will pick a varnish of my choice. Um, I typically will go with a satin my satin is kind of like the go-to, but sometimes I'll do a matte, gloss, or soft touch on it. So all of my pages in this book, which by the way are being featured in a magazine next month, which is Coolio, not next month, I think it's, um, you guys have seen me do several pages from this, but if you've ever been to a trade show with me, which I travel around with this, um, this, every page is paper, but it feels like, um, canvas because I have sprayed and sealed every single one of these pages. So I, I have to say that this book right here, I talk about this, is really represents, um, so this is like a high gloss, I don't know if you could see the sheen off of this, there you go. Um, this book, and this was Monday night, this book really represents, and if you don't seal it, you will sometimes get, oh, be really careful. See, this page needs to be sealed. I can tell. Ah, got it. Um, so you really want to seal your pages. And I make this one is not sealed. I just I was just farting around on my birthday. Got out the paint. So I really go through and I this was a matte varnish, I think. You really want to seal all your work. So that's what keeps these from just and I really probably should put like a piece of wax paper between these, but it's just my idea book. I don't like to get really connected to everything. I kind of like this page, too. Um, and I will be sharing. I think I did a series. I still have not shared like three or I've not shared like three or four pages from this book. And I'm really getting back to writing and just loving, you know, my creative process, my creative journey. I think some I don't really. I think really you can get caught up in things and get off track a little bit. So I feel like I'm back. Yeah, I use matte medium on the back. It keeps the pages really, um, what are you doing? You made a what? Coffee cake. <laughs> before, and I haven't cooked it yet. I made this before and it was a fail. Good, look at this amazingness. Doesn't that actually look good? I think I actually did it right for the first time. Uh, look at that. All right. Let's look at that pristine texture. <laughs> the nice consistency. Okay. Chef, I gotta go. Don't even come out in the kitchen yet. I, oh. I gotta clean. Oh up. yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. So anyway, that is my inspiration. Oh, my husband brought me orange juice. Yay. I missed him too. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Have come to the conclusion that she will be my world traveler. Oh, that's so lovely. She's going to, I'm going to meet her. I'm going to meet Olivia in October. Right? Yeah. He just made a coffee cake. I, I guess we're going to have tea and crumpets at noon tomorrow. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm bringing it with me, um, Sonia, to England. So this will be in there. And I have two more pages to go. And then this chapter of my life is, um, I got to start a new one. 
Thank you, Donna, for saying my son is cute. I, I'm absolutely, uh, I love them. This is my crazy life, and um, this is how Mixed Media Monday is. I'm sorry if I did not ask. If anybody is new, just chime in and let us know. I have three, uh, let us know, let us know. I have three moderators, and um, I don't think Lori is here. And uh, they just keep everything going for me. I have, um, I, they, they cue me in, they text me. Oh my God, Riley is so, yeah. He's probably ready to bolt right there. He's so excited with Daddy's home. Anyway, um, and uh, what was I saying? I just really, my whole message and my whole philosophy is for you to use what you have and don't be afraid to create. If you don't consider yourself somebody who draws, there are lots of pretty patterns and things out there to help you. There's clip art. There's just anything. Don't don't use the excuses to not be creative. Does that make sense? Don't use the excuses to not be creative. That is really, really a good quote. Because we, we have excuses all day long. Oh, that's right. Lori is at Disneyland. That is right. Thanks, Angie. <laughs> that's why you're here. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, Donna said she will so be back. Oh, good. Some people don't like the style of it. It's an hour. It takes time out of your life. But this is what I say about um, um, Monday nights. It is our time. If you can't catch... The original show on Monday night. Um, I put the videos on my blog. You can't really see the chat, so you think I am talking to myself, but there are people who are here. And it's really like my time. Monday has become for me that time where the kids, you know, get the garbage out for me. I cook dinner at four o'clock and um and there's so many of you who are in this community who say the same thing. They rely on Monday night to be about them and their creative time. And that's how they start their week. So an hour really isn't a long time. It's my escape. I have every Monday off of work and plan my week around it. Oh, Angie, thank you so much. And I know my parents were the two first original Mixed Media Monday people. And if you haven't joined our Facebook group, we have a lovely Facebook group, which is a very supportive community to share your artwork. There is no, there is no critiques. There are no, you know, um, nobody's going to shame you for your artwork. And it's just a safe place to share your artwork. And if you do anything based on Monday nights, share it there because... It's really great. I have a lot of people. I teach. My passion is teaching. I think in this past year, I've kind of discovered that. I mean, poor Sonia is hearing all this, and she's just going to have to hear it, excuse me, in a week. Um, but that is really true for me. I, I absolutely love the opportunity to teach and be with people, even if it's virtually. I actually think my best work is virtually. <laughs> yeah, it is. Monday is our time. Monday, Monday is Mixed Media Monday community time as well as our creative time. That is so true. And I don't expect there's a lot of people who lurk, just like to get the little tips and techniques and run with it. Totally fine. Yeah. Wow. I made a lot of sense and I don't drink. <laughs> chaos, chaos wrote that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I really thank you. And hi, Joy. Are you here? So I think I'm going to go. I'm off early. So I'm going to try and ha share this on my website. But my husband just got home from the weekend too. So I probably want to say hi to him. and want him to make fun of my shoes. Um, look, see, look, my watch just reminded me to log in my dinner. <laughs> I tell me, I know. I do a lot of videos. So all my videos go to YouTube and they're on my website. And I list everything that I use too. So there's really no secrets around here. Hmm. Okay, I think that's my cue to be out as well, and I thank you. I'm just going to turn on my little thank you, and I'm going to be here for a minute to turn off the recording. So if you have a question, feel free to ask me, but otherwise, I thank you guys so much. And I will not see you next Monday because I will be packing my suitcase, and I don't like to do that the night before when I have to travel. I believe I'm traveling on Tuesday, but I might be traveling on Wednesday. I might be traveling on Monday. Anyway. I don't think I'm going to be here next week because I'm traveling overseas, and that is just chaos for me. 
But anyway, I, I have to fit everything. Andy told me I'm limited to three suitcases because he has to pick me up and have room in the car for all of our stuff. <laughs> oh, and stay tuned for carpool karaoke, which we are going to do. <laughs> okay. So I will not see you next week. And I think the fact, I got to look at the calendar. Yeah, see you in a couple of weeks. That's exactly what we'll do. And I will. Thank you. I will share from there. If you don't um, or not, go to my Tracy Winesaffle Studios page. I will be sharing stuff from my travels over there as long as I have internet. But I hear they have internet <laughs> and indoor plumbing. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll see you at the end of the week, Sonia. That's so exciting. Okay, guys. I'm calling it early to get rid of my sore throat. Good night.